why should anyone aspire to daven inside a Beit Knesset in a shul as opposed to davening at home or somewhere else? After all, Hashem hears tefillah wherever we may be in the world. Firstly, that question is sort of like asking why it is that we think that Shabbos is a more special day than the rest of the week. The answer, if someone were to ask us, is very simple. HaKadosh Baruch Hu sanctified a day in time. So too the Yamim Tovim. There's a Kedushat Zman, a sanctity of time. Well, when we open Parsha Truma, we encounter Kedushat Makom, a sanctity of place. V'asu mikdash v'shachanti betocham. They shall make for me a, in English we translate sanctuary, but really we mean a place of Kedusha, mikdash, place of Kedusha. And I, says Hashem, I will dwell in their midst. The Beit HaMikdash, which is sourced, sourced in Parshat Truma, is actually the repository of where the Divine Presence dwells, more so than in the rest of the places where Jewish people live. The Ramban writes that the purpose of the building of the Mishkan was itself to have something that was essentially a portable Har Sinai. What made it so? The fact that at the epicenter was an Aron Kodesh that carried within it the Luchra Edut, the tablets of testimony, and the divine presence dwells above the Aron HaKodesh. And so too, the Beit Knesset fulfills that role. Rabbi Soloveitchik explained it as follows. He said, why did the Rambam get himself involved in what seems on the face of it to be a historical debate? The Gemara Masechet Yuma describes that Shlomo Melech had a premonition that someday the Beit HaMikdash will be destroyed. And so when he built the Beit HaMikdash, he built labyrinthine deep tunnels under the Har Habayid. And in the days of Yoshio HaMelech, says the Rambam, the Luchod HaEidut inside the Aron Kodesh were actually hidden away in those tunnels. But if you look in the Gemara, Rabbi Soloveitchik pointed out, actually the Gemara is not resolved between two opinions. One opinion says, that's what happened. The other opinion says, no, the Aron Kodesh was taken into exile to Bavel. Says Rabbi Soloveitchik, you know why the Rambam Paskin, he got involved in a historical discussion? It's not historical. It's halachic. The Rambam maintains that the Kedusha of Yerushalayim, the Kedusha of the Mikdash, and the Kedusha of the Shechina being sure the divine presence dwelling in the midst of the people is connected intrinsically to the fact of the Aron Kodesh with the Luchor Eidut within them. Therefore, the Beit Knesset is a repository of Kedusha because the Jewish people, the community has contributed, has built, and has agreed to assemble in a location which has an Aron HaKodesh, which has within it the Sifrei Torah. Therefore, it's at the front of the room, just like the Kodesh HaKodeshim. And therefore, each time that we come, we're connecting again to a place that is vested with Kedusha. And there we are encountering HaKadosh Baruch Hu, where we hope and pray the Shechina is Shora. It dwells more so than in other locations in the, in the, in the world. And just as with Kedushat Zman, we look to Shabbos and say it's a special time because Hashem designated as such. So too, we look to Parsha Shuma and we recall there's also Kedushat Makom, sanctity of place, because HaKadosh Baruch Hu designated the place where we keep an Arn Kodesh at the center of the Kedusha, of the sanctity of the place. That's a location where we ought to gather and aspire to be in order to encounter a Baruch Hu.